Lake St. Fee is a lot like spring in Saskatchewan. However, depending on where you are, seeding has not started and girls are anxious to get out in the fields. So let's address the elephant in the room. Can you seed too early? The decision to start seeding operations early is a personal one and takes several factors into consideration, such as crops to be seeded, size of operation, and how risk averse you are as a girl. Since crops vary in their cold and frost tolerance level, it is important to note that small grain cereals are more forgiving when seeded into cooler soil temperatures than canola. Additionally, these small grain cereal crops are more tolerant to lower soil temperatures than canola. This is because their growing points remain below the soil level until the five leaf stage to jointing. Notwithstanding, the crops do have some variation in their level of frost and cold tolerance, with oats being considered the most cold tolerant of the spring seeded cereals. As such, if you're growing oats on your farm this year, there is no risk to seed in this crop first. Let's look at four benefits to be had from seeding early. Early seeded crops will make better use of available soil moisture. By getting the crop in just a little bit earlier, there is the possibility that we're increasing the likelihood of the crop receiving sufficient moisture during its entire growing season. These small grain cereals are heat avoiders, so we want to get them up and out and filled before the harsh summer heat in late July and August. Because if we get heat stress during antesis, this increases the potential of yield loss compared to say heat stress occurring at jointing, tillering or the grain fill stage. Early seeded crops may avoid insect and disease pressure by beating peak infestation or infection windows. And finally, early seeded crops also lead to earlier harvesting, which in turn translate to improved yield and quality. The improved quality is especially important for farmers growing million oats and molten barley as these grains are marketed based on quality characteristics. While it is clear that there are benefits to be gained by seeding your cereals early, there are some of you who are still on the fence about early seeding. Here are some things you can do to ensure that these benefits are realized. Use a seed treatment. Cereal seeds going into cold soils definitely need a fungicide seed treatment for added protection. Depending on your location, you might want to include an insecticide. A surefire way to ensure that your seed treatments are correctly applied is to get this done by using a cargo storm treater. Seed place fertilizer. Because root growth is slow in cold soils, a seed place low salt index phosphorus product will be ideal in boosting root growth in this kind of environment. The principles of 4-hour fertilizer management ties nicely into this. Here is the key. Don't get too much salt near the seed. Depending on the product you are using, you might see a germination decrease and corresponding stand loss when fertilizer rates are too high. The last thing you want is to spend money on a fertilizer product that hurts your crop. My suggestion is to use low salt phosphorus products such as Microessentials S15 or S10. Use a biostimulant. Many people are still on the fence about biologicals but they do work. The trick is to use the right product for the right environment. Two key functions of biostimulants are helping crops tolerate abiotic stresses such as cold and helping to improve nutrient use efficiency. For example, when seeding into cold soils with high pH, products such as quick roots or jumpstart are useful in increasing the solubility and availability of phosphorus which, are, which is not readily available at high pH levels. Similar to your seed treatments, these biostimulants can be applied. 